I got to tell you, the last several months have been quite, uh, quite humbling, to say the least. Uh, this has truly been an honor, and I am so thankful uh, and uh, just full of grace to be have been chosen as the Business Leader of the Year for 2023. Um, I am a very blessed man. Uh, I just I have a wife who loves me. I have a family. I have a, uh, an adult daughter and an adult son who still like to hang out with me. Uh, both are married, and I've been blessed with a beautiful daughter-in-law and a and a handsome son-in-law and. Uh, my daughter and son-in-law have made me a grandpa. So there you go. I mean, new chapters all around. But uh, so I thought I'd start with a little background about, you know, who is Tom Bartels? Uh, my childhood was filled with fond memories. Uh, my father was a Baptist minister and my, my mother was his uh, assistant. Uh, he, she kept uh, him on task. Uh, she was certainly the chief director of our, our home and the CEO, the CFO, and uh, she was just the family glue that kept the bond tight. Um, um, I grew up, I was the youngest of four siblings, so uh, to use the phrase hand-me-downs, uh, uh, I'm going to say that's used loosely. By the time I got a pair of hash jeans, for those in the audience that can remember those, uh, the pocket, it would just say, shh, it would, they were so tired by the time I saw them. But uh, nonetheless, uh, it's filled with joy. Our house was certainly built on a Christian foundation and uh, probably the most common words exchanged amongst uh, our family was, I love you. I just want to spend a moment talking about uh, my father more as a fan um, all throughout my life, you know, I can't remember any youth basketball games that my dad wasn't at, high school basketball games that my father wasn't at, uh, even on up into my men's softball time. You know, he would, he would show up at those games and you could always count on his loud, caring voice, come on, Tom, you got this. And just, uh, just words of encouragement were always uh, something that uh, my father shared. And, and, uh, and I, and I feel those words even to today. And, you know, he planted a foundation inside me, um, not only with uh, encouragement, but also with, uh, he showed me how to work and uh, how to work hard. Um, you know, he was uh, oftentimes telling me phrases like, Tom, you, you always want to leave things better than you found it. Always do your best, son. You never know who's watching. Uh, you know, and work, work with a gladdened heart um, because then it really doesn't feel like work. If you can work with a spirit of, uh, of happiness, uh, it just helps, uh, it helps the product be a better product. It helps the day go by smoother. And I just think that that's something that even to this day, I try to share those words with my family and, and certainly with my coworkers and whatnot. In 1981, my family and I moved to Fairbanks, Alaska, where I attended uh, Lathrop High School. And I also began my working, my, say my, my uh, professional working career uh, at Safeway. And uh, while at Safeway, I, I learned all facets of retail. Um, uh, then I left Safeway and, and went over to the other side, if you will, and uh, took a job with k &L Distributors, where where there I learned everything uh, involving sales. Um, and then uh, from there I, I went to the Odom Corporation where um, I, I then learned about management and financials and um, it was a tremendous, tremendous opportunity for a young man. Um, I can assure you there were lots of moments drinking from a fire hydrant uh, while I was there. In 2006, uh, Jen and I were approached by some very good friends of ours, uh, Greg and Holly Abshires, the owners of North Pole Coffee at the time, when they wanted to know if we might be interested in purchasing uh, North Pole Coffee from them. You know, I loved my time at the Odom Corporation, the people I got to work with, the Odom brothers and their support and their faith in me over the years uh, was second to none and I just, I appreciated all the opportunities that came along with the job that I, I had. And so we wrestled with that decision and we prayed about it. We, we had many sleepless nights, uh, but uh, after several answered prayers and the fullness of a family who, 
that encouraged us to do so. And a father who told me, um, you know, Tom, a, a ship is not built to be tied to the uh, shoreline. A ship is built to explore the oceans. Do this, son. You've got this. Janet and I, uh, I at the age of 42, with two young kids, a wife, a mortgage, uh, we accepted the challenge and we went to work. Um, but I will tell you that there's a verse that has stuck with me, and, and uh, paraphrasing it, uh, Jeremiah 29, 11, you know, for I know the plans I have for you, they are plans of good and not disaster, uh, they are a, a future of hope. You know, those words uh, continually resonated, and it gave us that, just that little internal encouragement that we needed during those times when things may not be going our way. Uh, but uh, So we went to work. Oftentimes, you know, I would go to the post office, uh, and prior to going in to gra gather the mail, I would uh, pause to say a little prayer. I said, you know, Lord, you know exactly what we need to meet our needs. I pray for just enough. And I cannot tell you the countless times that I would go into that post office and come out with just enough. During those course of time, um, I was also blessed with the opportunity to sit on several boards, uh, some of which were the Fairbanks Youth Sports, Fairbanks Community Food Bank, the Fairbanks North Star Borough School District, uh, of course Rotary. Um, intermixed with that, I was uh, able to coach um, I remember coaching uh, youth basketball, um, youth baseball, um, girls fast pitch softball, and uh, of course uh, playing, playing several men's sports, uh, primarily men's basketball and uh, men's, uh, and men's softball where we traveled uh, uh, quite frequently. But, but I will tell you, the best, the best memory of being a part of something bigger was being a dad uh, supporter for my kids' hockey teams. Um, no, no, I never coached, I never was on the ice. That wasn't my gig, that wasn't my sport. But I tell you what, I made sure they had sliced oranges. I made sure there was Powerade in the locker room. I would drive one of the, one of the vans, uh, hopefully filled with players and not gear, uh, because there's not much worse than a van full of gear, hockey gear, that is. Uh, but I would also keep stats. And occasionally uh, you'd find me officiating one of the uh, penalty boxes, or as we call them, sin bins. And I will say this, Tan and Landon, you visited me far too many times. Uh, very fond memories. Um, so appreciate uh, uh, those moments in life. Because of so many of you in this room, North Pole Coffee has had the opportunity to grow and to become what it is today. Uh, we're locally driven. We want to make sure that the dollars that we earn are circulated within the community that we live. And uh, those are always our first choices, uh, to be able to support the people in our community that support us, um, to maybe support a customer uh, that does business with us, to be able to recirculate those dollars back to them you know, that's the purpose part of North Pole Coffee. And uh, we have choices each and every day where to choose to uh, invest our energy. And we always, first and foremost, choose our community. I once read a sign that kind of nails this philosophy. Um, it, goes, it goes like this. When you buy from a small business, you're not helping a CEO buy his or her third ho holiday home. You're helping a little girl get dance lessons, a little boy his team jersey, moms and dads put food on their table, shop local. I just want to thank you all for your time tonight. Thank you for coming. Thank you for your friendship. Thank you for uh, those of you that have traveled to be here. Um, it's just very, it's all so surreal and so very humbling. Um, I just truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you, and uh, I hope that you have a, a, a great night tonight. So, again, thank you.